Hello viewers, in this video we will see specific price method under the methods of pricing material issues. This method is followed in the concern which use job order costing. Okay, in which concern this job order costing is used, there they are, there they will use this specific price method okay the reason for using this method is to show the correct material cost of a job okay that is the reason in order to show the correct cost of material for that particular job they use this method and materials are purchased for the job and the purchase price is charged to that job okay whatever the price the material is purchased and for that particular job they will use that material ok a firm may use a standard method of pricing when the material specifically purchased or issued for the specific job the specific purchase price is charged to that job now we will see one problem under this method using information given draft stores ledger account showing quantities and value of receipts issues and balance in hand under LIFO method of pricing stores issues ok whatever the method that is it may be a LIFO method or it may be a FIFO method the specific price method is followed in the same way under both the methods ok that is the material purchased will be reserved and kept for the issue of that particular job ok while doing the problem you will come to know all this ok let's start doing the problem now First, we have a opening balance, 1000 units at rupees 1. So, I will write it in the balance column, 1000 rupees 1 and the amount is 1000. And on third, purchase 500 units to be issued on request from department X, rate rupees 2 each. Okay, this is reserved for that particular job. Okay, this is specific price purchased. Okay, that is this 500 is issued at the request of the department so it will not be issued for uh, any other thing it is to be issued on the specific date ok so we will write it in the receipt column 500 units 2 rupees is the rate and 1000 so under the balance of 1000 units we will write this 500 units and next we have a purchase again and the purchase unit was given and the cost was given. So we have to write it in the amount column. That is 3300. And now we have to find out the rate per unit. So 3300 divided by 3000 will get 1.1. So as usual we will write it in the balance column under that 500 units. Okay. Since it is a purchase. And next 17th we have an issue of 2000 units. Okay. And since it is a fee for method we can issue that 1000 units first since it is a LIFO method we have to issue from last that is we have 3000 units so in that we will issue 2000 units so the balance will be 1000 units 500 units and 1000 units after issuing this 2000 units at last we have 1000 units ok and on 19th we have a issue and this 500 units we have to issue the units purchased on January 3 that is purchased at a specific price so that goods we have to issue it now that material ok the rate is 2 rupees so 500 into 2000 are you clear that is this issue is to be out of the material purchased on 3rd that is at specific price we purchase no that we have to issue it now this is specific price method ok and in balance column we have to write the 1000 units at rupees 1 and 1000 units at rupees 1.1 ok we issued that 500 so it won't appear there and next one is on 20th we have a purchase 2000 units and the cost price was given that is 2400 so here also we have to find out the rate per unit so we will write under the 1000 units 2000 and 25th we have a issue of 3400 ok this is a LIFO method so we have to issue it from last 
we have 2000 first we will issue that so 1400 more we want so we can take it from 1.1 that is 1000 we have and from 1000 units at rupees 1 rupee we will take 400 from that so together we have issued 3400 units and the balance left over here is 600 units at the rate of 1 rupee so 600 is the amount so now we'll find the closing stock closing stock is 600 units valued at rupee 600 okay specific price is nothing but we have to reserve that specific material purchased on the specific rate that is to be issued for the specific job okay the material purchased for specific job is to be issued for the specific job we should not use that for other issues okay I hope now you understand the specific price method. I have given you a small problem for you to practice. Thank you for your patient listening.